welcome back everyone to another episode of Breeze. So guys, we're back here in another episode of Austin's where basically you guys have been, you know, kind of requesting and kind of hinting at that James, maybe you should, uh, you know, start attacking people and start becoming a little bit more proactive in your conquest. Um, and quite frankly, I agree with you guys. I mean, I should honestly be, you know, focusing in on building up a bigger military, building up bigger soldiers, and building up a better overall armada to start fighting the Ottoman Empire. Because as we know, if we do not build this up, then we're just going to be basically sitting here forever and ever and ever, which would stink. I mean, we don't want, we don't want to be, we don't want to be this little tiny nation forever. And that's not what our forefathers wanted either. When they gained their independence from the Ottoman Empire, they weren't just gaining independence for just the little bits of people down here in Greece. They want independence for all of Greece. And that is what we are fighting for, people. We are fighting for the freedom of the entire Greek people, the the emancipation of the, of the enslaved Greek population. We are fighting for that, the freedom. The freedom, people, of the Greeks. So... We're going to be working towards that a little bit harder. I'm going to be encouraging soldiers a little bit more so that we can build way more artillery. I think that's probably what we need to start doing is build way, way more soldiers. That's that's definitely the first step we have to start doing is build way more soldiers and start actually building an army. Um, now, the only thing is, is that it's probably going to take me a couple of years to gain all this. So there might be one or two episodes of just us just chilling here and talking to each other. You know, mono we mono. You know what I mean, people? You know what I mean? So, just be prepared for that. But I am definitely on the warpath now. I am ready for this. I am feeling like I want to kick some Ottoman booty. And let me guess, UK? UK. It usually happens. I would, right by now, I'd make some kind of complaint about the mechanics of that. But I feel really, really in a good mood right now. So, we're just going to continue on. Let's get our soldier onto the boat. Get him to Athens, where he'll be patrolling the mighty capital and you know I have a feeling that at some point you know I think let's see where would be the most protective spot let's see hmm hills this is hills with a river crossing I think hills with a river combat reduced to 33 Alright, I think I'm going to build one fort right here. A lot of you guys are going to be like, What? Why are you building a fort? That seems so stupid. Well, no, it actually isn't, because just in case, by chance, that the Ottomans were able to destroy my entire army and push me back, if we have one fort to be able to block them up and to keep them back, it might mean the difference between life or death. Um, and apparently there's some kind of crisis going on, probably involving me, and since, by the way, since we are going Warpath, I'm completely changing my strategy to reflect our Warpath ways, um, yeah, but before we completely go Warpath, I think we do need to get some marketing structure, because that's just important, and apparently we have some kind of crisis going on, what crisis could this be? Oh, it's a crisis for our rights, how much do you want to bet no one's going to care about our rights? Oh, well, I really should not doubt the world's great power as well. Let's see, how many are they, let's see, Britain's going to be not joining us. France is going to be joining us. They're not going to be joining us. They're not going to be joining us. Well, actually, wait, wait. Belgium might actually join us. So, that'd be good. And then you guys aren't even going to try to pretend you guys are neutral. I, I don't know, this, we might actually have a war for some Ottoman lands a little bit quicker than I thought. I'm not sure, this might actually turn into a great war, um, but it probably won't because the British, I think the British are really the tiebreaker in almost every time you battle, and if the British join one side, it automatically means that the other side's doomed. So let's see, those two divided up, oh, and apparently they had to, they apparently had to do a little bit more of a, deal. That means the British, ooh, Austria is leaning, okay. You guys really do like me, okay? Belgium, you guys like me, okay? 
Do not turn your back onto me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to convince Belgium to join us. Okay, come on, Belgium. Okay, that 50-50. That's good. 50-50. Fight the disease with everything we got. Ooh. Belgium is not leaning towards us. Yeah, that was completely waste of time. I should have probably just quit, but I wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, yeah, it didn't happen. I kind of, like I said, I kind of figured that was going to happen. The crisis system at this point is kind of useless to us because the European powers at this point don't care about us. I hate to say it bluntly, but they really don't. So, we're not going to worry about them anymore. We're just going to focus in our own country and focus in our own internal problems. Because that's... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it again because I think you guys already know what I'm going to say, and it's the truth. So, anyways, we have a big leveling out right now in terms of economy, which is kind of good, kind of bad. I'm not really truly paying attention to it because it's just a little bit depressing, a little bit, and it occurs in soldiers, all that kind of jazz. We're doing good. I mean, mostly in almost everything we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Soldier-wise, we have a lot of good soldiers. UNT goes bankrupt. That's good-ish? Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's good and bad. Uh, Prussia is still, like, completely divided up. Like, I thought this was a good thing, like, in the very beginning, but now I'm starting to think it's a bad thing because it's not... Prussia's not giving France enough of a challenge to fight them. Which is what we kind of need them to do, because they need we need France to fight Prussia. So that they can, like, fight amongst each other and so we can gain land. That was the whole idea of this. And apparently there's some kind of fight going on between the Belginians and the Ottomans? What? Oh! The Ottomans are at war with both Belgium and the, the Egyptians. Wow. That's kind of cool. And we could do a lumber mill. Uh, it's kind of useless. We have no factories right now. Um, we just got a wow. We just got a whopping good amount of amount of uh, increase in terms of terms of uh, money. That is very good. But we're gonna continue on with our war path. Get some modern day medicine because modern day medicine will help us win wars. Uh, get our people up to a good standard of of fighting. We almost got our first fort built right here, which should, if times become really bad, provide a good accessible a way to escape this would probably be this would probably be the last resort if our people were to fall is get into this fort and protect ourselves with all we have because I don't think we could beat anything else okay protectorism no we want free trade we want free trade hey y'all we want to be able to trade whatever we have and be able to do whatever we want okay divine laissez faire because that's what we want. We want to make our capitalists build everything. Um, let's see. Can we support 50% yet? Let's see. Because this is what this is the ultimate. This is where we want to be. If we want to support a 50%. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if we could yet. Uh, no, we don't. We don't want people to think that the military is expensive. I'm not sure if we could support yeah, we can't. Hate to admit it, but we cannot support it just yet. Which we could, but we can't. What we can do is lower the taxes just by a little bit, which is a good thing. But we cannot support the zero zeroing in taxes yet. Wish we could, but we can't. What else Oh gosh. And if my voice does sound a little bit forced right now, guys, it's because I've been doing a lot of talking and mm, I just recorded some other episodes of um, Europa so yeah this is this is really hurting my but this is really hurting my voice right now talking but as they must say the show must go on okay apparently we'll get losing even more money which means I probably have to increase it just by a little bit we could probably have just a little bit of on of our of our um, capitalists helping out just a little bit, just ten percent of their on of their money helping us out, uh, patrolling all this. Let's gain all this, and I think I'm going to decrease education by a little bit because education has become insanely expensive, like insanely expensive. And I'm still going to don't worry, I'm still increasing in education, but we really need to decrease it just by a little bit so we can gain money. Um, the Venezuelans go bankrupt. 
Huzzah! We haven't gone through that yet! Uh, more, more of our money is being dedicated to this stupid fighting plague, which is also killing our production and economy because it is killing off more of our soldiers and more of our people, which is not good. So, that's not good at all. Uh, colonial consciousness. Hopefully no one will become really mad about that. I'm now going to get uh, military output or mining output, which is going to give us practical engineering. Uh, and now... Nah, you know, I I second. I take that back. We really do need to, we really do need to keep our education at the utmost of production, because that is what we're really focusing in on. Is trying to have a good education system, which is exactly what we need to keep up in our days of old. Keep all of our people educated and fully informed of what's going on in the world, and to keep our hopes and dreams up and alive. The Austrians are also doing absolutely nothing, which is kind of weird. I would have expected them to be trying to invade Prussia. But this is like, to be honest, this is like the most peaceful I've ever... Whoa. Okay, I was about to say, this is like the most people peaceful I've ever seen this game. I'm not even joking, you people. This is like the most peaceful. And has slavery already happened? Huh. I think... There must be a glitch now, because this happened in my uh, own USA campaign, because none of these places are slavery-induced. Um, I guess the Union actually decided they didn't want slavery. Good job for the Union, they actually were thinking smart. Uh, it's very good that there are going to be no slaves in the most biggest power in the world, at least in terms of the Eastern Hemisphere, and they took even more land. That's good-ish. Question mark. <laughs> I don't know. Um, France and France and it seems like the UK are going to be going duke to duke at it here soon. Uh, army attri um, attribution. It seems like they're going to be going like toe to toe here soon. I'm waiting to see when Poland's going to actually gain Warsaw back, so they can actually gain the actual capital instead of it being over here in Bleszu. I I probably butchered that pretty it. Pretty substantially, but I don't really care. And I just got more farming output, which means our economy is now booming. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so that means I can actually decrease taxes again. So let's just increase the poor first because the poor deserve it. And then let's try to keep our taxes for the medium class about 50. Uh, we can keep a 10% tax on the rich. Because the rich do need to start paying just a little bit of their money. I'm not asking them to pay like insane amounts, but they do need to pay a little bit. Get 60%. Oh shoot, we're going down to like 50, 40%. 50% taxes here, so we just need to decrease, we just need to decrease 10 more percent. And then we'll finally have like a good tax ratio. I'm really tempted to get this because it really, really seems like it would help, but it wouldn't. Let's get administration efficiency to try to increase administration efficiency all across the board. 5% um, in all my colonies would be pretty nice to have. I mean, right now we only have like power in like zero percent of our colonies. Like we have absolutely no power except for except for Johor. Johor is the only place that really has any power. That's really kind of cool. Um, grain output, po population output. We're really getting a lot of good events right now, which is good. I think the flu is almost done. Let me see. The flu finally ends, so we can finally gain good population. Yes. Okay, so the flu epidemic finally ended, so we're now we're getting full population burst. This is now becoming quite exciting. Baldwin is doing something cool and exciting, I don't really know. Uh, the beliefs must be respected. Uh, I think our fort's almost there. We did build our fort, yes! That means just in case if we had the whole, you know, if all else fails, we can always fall back to right here and be able to hold the line. So I think this would be able to null and void almost everything that would give the technologically advanced Ottomans the kick. So we could probably easily take them over and do all of our crazy cool stuff if we wanted to. Oh gosh, we're making so much money right now. <laughs> we can actually decrease this a little bit more. Uh, yeah, we're still trying. We're still trying to get to that liberalistic kind of thinking. So we really do need to keep pushing down the economy until it's like really almost non-existent. But at least our economy is also doing really well right about now. We're about to get honorary banking, money, bill, printing, whatever you want to call it. Which will then give us even more of a better economy. Which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to build up our economy. We're trying to get an insanely good economy. While we're, so that we can go to war without much difficulty. I think I'm going to increase the weighted universal. 
so that people of almost every kind of property management can vote. Because that's what we want in our day-to-day -day people. Uh, you know what, this actually would help us because it's actually make us build paper mills, which would insanely help our production rate. So let's just quickly gain this, and then after this, wait. Oh wait, a masturbation! Oh wait, never mind. Stop production, get this first. So this will help our production of a lot more things, if we get that. Because then it'll help us, like, take down everything so quickly. Oh gosh. Alright, seems like we are... We have everything underneath our control. Ah. Uh, politically and economically, we still got tons and tons of farmers in our land, but we just have to keep um, producing what we have to. 2% of our people are actually craftsmen, and we still got a good amount of capitalists in our land. How many aristocrats? A ton of aristocrats. That's not good. We don't want aristocrats in our land. They actually do nothing for us. And fail to enlist again. That kind of stinks. I know, I know exactly how you feel, Poland. No other country's giving you the respect you deserve. Well, they do. They are a secondary power, which is kind of amazing me right now. Uh, and I got this much. Wow, we're making so much money. How are we making this much money? Okay, let's just casually keep decreasing our money woes. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're making, we're making tons and tons of money. Okay, plurality and all this kind of stuff. Emancipationism should give us a good amount of production output. I mean, I think it's because halfway because some of our like people are starting to actually become rich. Our soldiers, I think enlistment is also starting to go up a little bit. Although this is also going to cause a big gigantic jump in our economy when we build another soldier. I think I'm going to build a uh, another soldier right there. But we have enough money to support a good amount of stuff. Let's go right here. And I'm building more cannons than anything because if we were to like mobilize, we'd have enough soldiers to do stuff. So if you guys are wondering why I'm doing that, that's the reason why I'm doing that. Okay. And it seems like we are we are doing really well right now. Like insanely well. In fact, we're doing so well that we have like no infamy right now. What's up with that? Should we should be at war with someone? Wait, wait. Yeah, we should be at war with someone. Okay, okay, who would be a good war target? Um, China? No, really powerful. Korea? Allied with China, no. Uh, Gunzai? Uh, substitute China. Dainam? Allied with China, no. Maybe Siam? No, they're puppet of the British. Burma? Puppet of the British. Uh, -huh. Ethiopia? Wait, Ethiopia, maybe... <gasps> we could do the conquest! <gasps> Ooh! And then maybe we'd gain with their 1.2 pop. Oh shoot! With their 1.2 population boost, we could have really insanely good taxes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do this. We're gonna do this. All right. Well, I'm also going. What I should also do at the same point is also build an actual, an actual army to go like go conquer them. Because I think I think this is actually gonna be the first war we're actually going to. They're coming for us! I know those guys are coming for us. You should know they're coming for us because I know they're coming for us. So you should know they're coming for us because I know they're coming for us because you know. You know. <laughs> oh gosh, that crazy prospector needs to really go get a real life. Besides just going down in the mines and just yelling at random like prophecies I think is going to come true. But yeah, I think I think this is what we're going to do. We're also going to have to increase taxes by a little bit. That kind of stinks. Just when I was just thinking we were about to go get good taxes, they had to switch it up on me. But, no, this is still very good. Next episode will be, you know, casually going to war. Tax efficiency is going really good. Uh, tax efficiency, research points, now great. We should also get the biological social Darwinism stuff so that we can keep increasing our literacy rate. Sexualize, no, that's for the communist faction. I'm not really a communist. It, even or socialist really I'm not really a socialist either but we could get these guys on the boats and we could transport them eh, that seems a little bit strong let's just have them over here to protect my land so that they don't so that the Egyptians don't I mean the Ethiopians don't think they can steal any land from over here because I have a feeling that they're gonna try to attack right here I don't know it just I just have an itchy feeling and usually this is not wrong but uh, all of our military military production points are going pretty good 
We also should start actually producing a good amount to support our military just by a little bit. We'll do like 10% support. Okay. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun episode. We're building up our militaristic industrial complex, everyone. So this is really good. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.